Today I'm just going to show you a quick little tip on how to remove uh, a nasty green haze that you get when photographing, especially under trees and things like that. So this is the old truck I have and if I had a pullback of this you see there's all these trees all around and stuff which gives for a good open shade and I can shoot natural light uh, in here and get the look I want. But the problem with that, especially with digital cameras nowadays, is you get a a bad green effect or green color shift on hair, especially for this girl, very fair complected and light light hair. So you could see the green just coming in on her hair a lot here. So I'm going to show you a quick technique to easily remove that. And it's just by using your hue saturation layer. So if we come on over here click on hue saturation it brings up this box and now what you want to do is take it from the master and go down to greens because that's the only place we really want to affect is the green area click on your little eyedropper here and just click on the area that you want to affect and I try and pick an area with the most green I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit more so you can see it so I'm gonna click right here and you're gonna see uh, right here is where uh, it's selected right now but as I click boom that's gonna move and you can move these sliders and stuff a little bit to to make it more of a precise reading or or selection I usually don't really mess with that and you also see how it's switched up here to yellows too don't worry about that it just kinda says hey it looks more like yellow yellow than green so then the next thing I do, I'm just looking right here at the green. In fact, I'm going to zoom right in even closer here. And I'm just going to adjust it. Now keep in mind, I my monitor is calibrated to my lab, which is White House Custom Color. And uh, your monitor is going to look a little bit different. And because I'm recording this, it might not look as good uh, on your end when you're viewing this. But uh, keep in mind that it is changing a lot here. In fact, I might go a little overboard with it to in to really show you the difference. But usually I just take the saturation down a little bit and then I can move this slider up here, the hue, and take it down here a little bit too. So we're just removing that green. Again, I'm just kind of only concerned with it, this area right in here. Let me do the saturation a little bit more. So just like that. So if I click, this is the before and this is the after and now you can see it also affects the green in in the back here which sometimes you really don't want in this case it's actually not too bad but generally what I do is I select on the layer mask itself do a select all and then I fill it black so I just hit option delete that fills it the layer mask black therefore it's basically not affecting anything then I hit my B for the brush tool and I come in here uh, let's let's go like at uh, let's go move this up you can slide it like this or just hit like seven for seventy percent and I'm just gonna paint with white now make sure see I started painting as on the black so what I normally do is hit D to to default it and then you can hit X and it'll toggle this from black and white back here but I want to paint with white because my layer mask is black. So I just paint right in here. I'm not very particular. In fact, I do want some of this green off of the truck here and right in here. So now, if I click and say before and after, you can see a huge difference. I can hit the X key and zoom in a little bit here if I wanted to bring a little bit more green back into that background. Another thing you can do is kind of just soften the layer mask. If I double click on the layer mask, it brings up this properties. I can just kind of click and pull this over, which kind of feathers it a little bit more. So that's it. It's a quick and easy change, but you can see the dramatic results uh, that really takes care of the green off of her uh, hair and her light complexion. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this freebie uh, fun little tutorial and how to easily remove green from your images. Take care.